Hey there! In this video, we're diving into everything you need to know about OBD2 trouble code P0300, also known as random or multiple cylinder misfire detected. First things first, let's break down what the P0300 code actually is. This code gets triggered when the engine control module or ECM detects an engine misfire that's either random or showing up on multiple cylinders. Now, a misfire means that the combustion process inside one or more cylinders isn't happening properly. You may also find another OBD2 code, like P0301 to P0308, alongside P0300. The last number in these accompanying codes refers to the affected cylinder. If you want to know more about what these codes mean, visit our website, obdcode.org, for a detailed explanation. Now, let's dive into why P0300 gets triggered. The engine control unit, or ECU, monitors the signals from the crankshaft position sensor, camshaft position sensor, and cylinder pressure sensor. These sensors provide real-time data about your engine's performance. When a misfire occurs in one or more cylinders, it causes the engine's RPM to drop abruptly. Simultaneously, the pressure inside the cylinder becomes abnormal. This sudden change in signals from the sensors is what the ECU reads as a misfire. The camshaft position sensor, on the other hand, helps the ECU determine which specific cylinder is experiencing the misfire. And that's how the P0300 trouble code is triggered. Now let's learn why misfires take place. Let's start with the basics. For proper combustion, three things must be right. The air-fuel ratio, the spark, and the ignition timing. Anything that disrupts the air, fuel, or spark can trigger a misfire. Now let's dive into some factors that can affect the air, fuel, or spark. First up, vacuum leaks. A vacuum leak allows unmetered air to enter the engine. This extra air throws off the air-fuel ratio, causing the mixture to run too lean, which leads to misfires. Some common locations for vacuum leaks include a torn vacuum hose, a stuck-open PCV valve, a leaking intake manifold gasket, or anything torn in the air intake system after the MAP sensor. Next up, a dirty throttle plate. The throttle plate controls the amount of air entering the combustion chambers. If it's dirty, it can restrict the airflow, disrupting the air-fuel ratio. This disruption can cause misfire. Next, a torn head gasket. A torn head gasket can allow unwanted air, oil, or coolant to leak into the combustion chamber. This disrupts the air-fuel mixture and prevents proper ignition. If the gasket is compromised, your engine might struggle to ignite the air-fuel mixture, leading to misfires and triggering the P0300 code. Next, possible cause is a dirty MAF sensor. A dirty MAF sensor can mislead your engine control module, or ECM, by giving it inaccurate readings of the airflow entering the engine. If the readings are off, the ECM will command the wrong amount of fuel. This throws off the air-fuel ratio, which can cause engine misfires. Another possible cause is a faulty oxygen sensor. The oxygen sensor plays a critical role in maintaining the correct air-fuel ratio. It sends real-time data to the engine control module, or ECM, about the oxygen levels in the exhaust gases. If the oxygen sensor is faulty, it can send incorrect data leading the ECM to miscalculate the air-fuel ratio. This imbalance can result in engine misfires. Another possible cause could be faulty camshaft or crankshaft sensors. These sensors are crucial because they help the engine control module time the spark correctly to ignite the air-fuel mixture. If they start to fail or go intermittent, it can throw off the timing, leading to poor combustion. Let's now talk about another possible cause of the P0300 code that's related to the fuel system, a faulty fuel pressure regulator. The fuel pressure regulator is responsible for maintaining the right pressure in the fuel system, ensuring that the fuel is delivered properly to the engine. Next up, let's talk about another possible cause, a bad fuel pump. The fuel pump is responsible for delivering fuel from the tank to the engine, but when it starts to go bad, it won't be able to keep up with the engine's fuel demands. 
This lack of proper fuel pressure will throw off the air-fuel ratio, disrupting the combustion process and potentially triggering the P0300 code for random misfires. Another fuel-related cause is clogged or faulty fuel injectors. A faulty injector may not deliver enough fuel or could leak fuel, causing an incorrect air-fuel ratio and misfires. Now, another potential cause is spark plugs and ignition coils. Spark plugs and ignition coils are responsible for igniting the air-fuel mixture in each cylinder. If they malfunction, they can prevent proper combustion, leading to misfires. Another possible cause could be a loose timing chain or timing belt. The timing chain or belt ensures that the intake and exhaust valves open and close at the precise time in sync with the engine's pistons. If the chain or belt becomes loose,